What happened to this ship? And this yacht? And what's going on here? Turns out being on a boat is quite risky. We're going to show you some epic ship accidents. But before we do, subscribe to our channel to avoid the same fate as this guy. The hull of this 223-foot cargo ship cracked and water got inside. Take a look at what it led to. Have you ever heard a 112-foot ship fall down onto the docks? When you're a little bit tired. Did you know that operating a boat is more difficult than driving a car? Eh, the captain didn't either. And this is how they test a lifeboat. Hmm, might be safer just to stay on the ship. A small miscalculation happens to us all, right? I mean, I'm not a sailor, but I don't think that was supposed to happen. And here's what happens when you use a crane in windy conditions. <laughs> Guys, scooch! I'm trying to dock. This is the footage of a wreck of a bulk carrier Arvin in the Black Sea off the coast of Turkey on the 17th of January 2021. The vessel is bouncing on the waves and in literal minutes, a part of it simply breaks off. And here's a moment a cargo ship collided with a dock. It's a good thing there was no one around. Here's what a $50 million yacht is capable of. And this is a brutal annihilation of a dock. The tugboat pulling this vessel couldn't cope with the mooring and look what happened. They couldn't drift apart in the Singapore waters. Check out the force with which the vessel loaded with fuel crashed into the tanker. Here's what it looks like when you wave goodbye to 5 million Russian rubles. But the owner of this yacht got lucky. He got an insurance payout. Yeah, I'm lucky. When its engine failed, this cargo ship demolished a construction crane used for building a bridge in Vietnam. On February 28, 2019, a captain who had a little too much to drink steered the Russian cargo ship Sigrand into the Gwangdaegyo Bridge in Busan, South Korea. In the footage, you can see the ship collide hard with the bridge, causing cars to suddenly stop. Both the ship and the bridge were heavily damaged. On August 15, 2012, a Hong Kong fishing boat with 14 Chinese activists had landed in disputed territory and was being chased by two Japanese Coast Guard patrol boats. The two boats ended up capturing the fishing boat as they closed in on each side. Or lost, 
The ship was going to be scrapped and it was purpose. In 2019, a huge 13-deck cruise ship, the MSC Opera, lost control of its engines, which led to a crash into a dock and a smaller boat called Re wondering how it survived at all. In 2018, people on a smaller boat had their cameras going as they watched a 740-foot tanker make its way towards an 18th century million-dollar waterfront mansion. The Vita Spirit was said to have dropped anchor to stop, but it didn't and smashed into the historic mansion, ripping off part of its roof and corners of the historic building. In 2017, the Tolonai bulk carrier smashed into the Turkish Coast Guard boat, which was directly in front of it. The bow of the Tolonai strikes the smaller boat and spins it around. As the ship passes, the SG-25 Coast Guard boat could be seen capsized. The Tolonai did not stop and kept sailing as if nothing happened. It appears that this footage is a great example of how not to dock. Now you can see an emergency stop of the BC Ferry Queen of Oak Bay. Its engine was faulty. Mechanical malfunction is responsible for this accident as well. A container vessel lost control in Guangzhou port in China. And this moment features a crash between a ship and a barge, which rammed into the ship's starboard at full speed. The Marines are in shock. They are showing the huge hole which could have easily sent the vessel to the bottom of the ocean. They're at it again. Building bridges everywhere. What is a $24 million yacht capable of? For example, it can suddenly lurch forward while refueling and cause $100,000 worth of damage. That's what you'd call a lucky parking spot. This Estonian ferry was speeding when it crashed into the harbor, damaging many cars inside the vessel. And if you think this couldn't get any worse, get this. The president of Estonia was on board. He wasn't harmed, but we can't say the same for his vehicle. Yep, we are also confused as to what's going on here. Who do you think is at fault? Comment down below to let us know. Here's some footage of a collision between a 336 meter cargo ship and the berth of one of the largest shipping container ports in India. And this is just another day in Russia. And this fisherman could have easily slept through the new video release on our channel. Have you ever witnessed a three-way collision? Oh. And now you are watching a huge cargo ship ram into a mansion on the coast of Bosphorus. It happened due to a malfunction in the rudder. What do you think about the consequences? Meanwhile, Vietnamese boatmen have their own vibe. This liner was being launched into water when a cable connecting it to the tugboat snapped. The tugboat was immediately punished. 
These people were just chilling on their yacht near one of Miami's restaurants. They did not suspect that in just a couple of seconds, a huge tragedy will take place. Another yacht crashes into the boat, not sparing the passengers and even those who tried to drag them out of the way. He struck. Behind the wheel of this naughty jet ski is a 13 year old boy who was moving towards the sun and did not notice the obstacle. What the? A motorized inflatable boat that crashed into a sailboat was unmanned after the boat's operators lost control. That's also what happened when the Andrea trawler collided with the Alexander von Humboldt. A large three-masted sail training vessel with 59 people on board, all due to the negligence of the sole crew member who was on the bridge. Neither vessel was seriously damaged. In Vladivostok Bay, a military ship crashed into the dock as a result of reverse gear failure. <laughs> On February 24, 2020, the giant tanker Stellar Banner ran aground and developed a heavy starboard tilt into the water. The crew was evacuated and the vessel was refloated so that the salvage teams could remove 3,500 tons of fuel oil and its 275,000 tons of iron ore cargo. But it was found that the ship could not be repaired and it was deliberately scuttled. Dramatic footage was captured of the 440,924 ton ship as it sinks into the water and the sounds as it sinks is eerily incredible. On October 7, 2019, the CSL Virginia container ship was hit by the ferry Ulysses, which punched a huge hole in the side of the tanker and released thick crude oil that washed up along beaches near Corsica. The accident happened because the watch officer aboard the Tunisian Ulysses was talking on his phone at the time of the accident and did not notice the CSL Virginia had anchored in an unusual spot. The tanker also had its deck lights lit and had been detected by the ferry's radar more than an hour before the accident. It took five days to separate the two ships and cost millions of dollars in damage. Our next big ship accident involves the $39 million mega yacht Yogi. In footage shot aboard a helicopter, the yacht can be seen on its side in choppy seas and bad weather as the crew are evacuated. The reason the million-dollar boat sank was due to one of the engines overheating, and there was a failure at the stern door that let water in. The second engine failed, and the boat eventually sank in five hours. The entire crew was rescued, uninjured, if not a bit cold. And these two ships couldn't quite avoid each other in the open waters. This 40-ton ship was en route from Japan to Thailand when it ran aground and split in half, spilling oil into the ocean. The size of the oil spill is three miles long. When you enable cruise control and decide to chill out, when Zeus gets angry at Poseidon. The captain of this ferry lost control because of the strong wind. Well, that used to be a beautiful quayside in Bangkok. It's a good thing this happened in the morning when it was empty. The captain of this vessel fell asleep at the helm. Straight up ahead is a Norwegian fjord. And here you're seeing a pleasure boat collide with a catamaran on the Moskva River. And here, a passenger jetliner rams into a building in Jakarta. Sag, 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 
Jāker! Jāker! Nothing to add. He said it all. Just look at the force of this barge ramming a ship. And here are the consequences. And these barges collided with a dam during the floods in Oklahoma. Just watch how quickly they are disappearing underwater. Back in March 2013, video footage was captured showing two cargo vessels that were too close together. The larger 57,770-ton Bex Halil cargo ship is shown right on the tail of a smaller Vietnamese cargo ship, which is blindly veering into its path. With its horns blaring, the Bex Halil hits the cargo ship, pulling off one of the slowest pit maneuvers ever caught on camera. The Coast Guard was called, but luckily no one was injured. But we do know there must have been some damage to both ships. In December 2019, passengers aboard two cruise ships were shaken when the two ships collided at the port of Cozumel in Mexico. Carnival Glory was trying to dock when the bow of the smaller Carnival Legend ripped a hole across its back end, taking out a big chunk of the ship. No one is certain what caused the crash, but bad weather and high winds were blamed. No one was seriously hurt, and all passengers who just witnessed the crash were told to have a nice time in Cozumel. In this footage, someone captures the moment a cruise ship named Excellent crashes into a big cargo loading barge. Workers on the barge are seen running for their lives as one of the giant cranes collapses, landing on cargo and starting a fire. Stormy weather and rough water was to blame for the accident, and there was nothing excellent about this. In out that the Turkals 8 was intentionally run aground so that it could be dismantled. In this footage, you can see where one cargo ship tries to pass too closely by the Girolata cargo passenger ship. It looks like the big ship will squeeze by and make it okay, but then disaster happens and the back end of the Girolata smashes into the lifeboats on the side of the passing ship as they fall into the water. Nobody was hurt, but there was some significant damage and somebody had some explaining to do. Sometimes shipping accidents aren't out at sea, and in April 2014, video was captured of the 610-foot container ship Hansa Constitution veering off course and heading for the football field at the University of Hong Kong. If you look closely, rust clouds come off the anchor chains as the giant ship comes to a stop just before the field. The accident was blamed on loss of power and high winds. In July 2013, the Mole Comfort cargo ship was loaded with 4,382 full-size containers and 7,041 smaller containers headed from Singapore to Saudi Arabia. But the ship couldn't handle the weight and the hulls started to break in the middle. The crew was rescued from the ship safely, but later the ship broke into two pieces, caught fire, and then sank. Take a look at the aftermath when a container vessel crashed into a dock in the Tanjung Emma's port in Semarang. While attempting to dock, a 1,200-foot-long cargo ship, Milano Bridge, got caught on the towering construction cranes on the dock, causing one of them to collapse on top of the ship. The Milano Bridge also impacted another ship, the C-SPAN Genghis. This happened near disputed isles in the East China Sea, the site of vast potential gas and oil reserves. A Chinese fishing boat collided with a Japanese patrol vessel. The accident was a catalyst sparking a diplomatic spat between two Asian countries. Japan detained the Chinese skipper of the trawler, which made him a hero in China. 35-year-old pilot of the soybean-carrying barge lost control of the vessel and it crashed into one of the bridge pillars, causing the bridge to collapse.
Later, the pilot was fined 2,000 baht. Turns out he was operating the boat under an expired license that ran out in 2012. A terrible crash happened during the super yacht challenge Antigua Regatta between J-Class yachts. Take a look. One yacht rammed right through the other. It fully crosses the stern, causing a person to fall overboard. As a result, both boats were damaged and immediately dropped out of the race. Two crew members received medical attention. The Marine Knutsen supertanker was making its presence known by repeatedly sounding its horn. But it looks like that yacht just ignored it. Its sail got caught in the supertanker's anchor and the yacht was hit. This 190-meter bulk carrier collided with the shore and ran aground, blocking the Bosphorus. The issue was to do with the ship's propulsion system. From shore, this big cruise ship looks like it's going to smash into this bridge. But seconds later, the ship passes underneath unscathed. And here you can see a recently built luxury cruise liner collide with a bridge, saying goodbye to its chimneys. According to one of the versions, it was the fault of the captain who did not take into account the fact that a vessel without passengers swims higher. On February 28, 2019, a captain who had a little too much to drink steered the Russian cargo ship Sigrand into the Gwangandaegyo Bridge in Busan, South Korea. In the footage, you can see the ship collide hard with the bridge, causing cars to suddenly stop. Have you ever heard a cargo ship crash into a pier? This is the sound of an anchor breaking off. The bridge was also quite inconvenient. And this 295-foot vessel experienced a rudder failure, so it's heading straight for the breakwaters. And this is an emergency mooring of a ferry with a ramp in the port of Santo Domingo after an engine failure. Due to the impact, several cargo containers fell from the ship and broke a portion of the fence surrounding port facilities. They dented several cars and other containers and destroyed the road to the border pier. In 2018, a real royal battle took place off the coast of Normandy. 40 French trawlers attacked the British scallop catching competition in the English Channel. The British have the right to procure shellfish here, but according to the French, they are violating all the rules and regulations. They are working seven days a week, scraping everything clean. At the end of August, the fishermen started throwing rocks and smoke bombs at each other. No one was injured, but the defeated British returned home with broken windows as a result. Later, the French government threatened to involve military courts to resolve the dispute. In turn, the British referred to the actions of the French as ordinary piracy. Cargo ships can have accidents without breaking in two, though, and recently the ship One Epus found itself in a nasty Pacific storm and suffered a massive container stack collapse where it was carrying 14,000 20-foot containers. Of those, 1,816 containers were filled with batteries, fireworks, and two containing liquid ethanol, ending up falling into the ocean and sinking, a loss of over $200 million. Luckily, no one was injured and the ship made it back safely to port. We're not sure what ship this is or who the captain is, but seconds before it starts to move under a bridge, it's clear there isn't enough room as parts of the ship are ripped off and crew members start to run for their lives. But that's not all. Apparently, the ship was moving under two bridges at the same time. And you can hear the nasty sound of crunching metal as more of the ship on the other end doesn't clear the bridge. 
In New Zealand in October 2011, a cargo ship carrying containers with crude oil ran aground on the Astrolabe Reef, which resulted in New Zealand's worst maritime environmental disaster. Footage shows the ship listing heavily one side into the water, where later the entire ship finally sunk. The ship's captain and second officer were responsible and spent seven months in prison for operating a vessel and causing unnecessary risk or danger to person and property. You have to wonder what the two captains of these ships were doing, but it looks like a bad game of chicken and they both lost. The 12,700-ton heavy-lift vessel the Alanis and the 14,000-ton bulker Florence Spirit bonus topic. While this isn't an accident, you'd have to admire how these giant cargo ships operate and the massive amount of cargo they can carry. You're looking at the C-SPAN Phoenix, a barge that is carrying a huge amount of logs. After a while, it looks like the Phoenix is going to sink, leaning heavy to one side. But nope, the barge can take on water so that it tilts to one side and dumps its cargo of logs in the water. Two tankers were fighting over the waters of Tanjong Kling. The MV Ocean Line rammed into the middle part of the MT Stravokos port side. And here's what can happen due to incorrect use of an anchor. The boat crashed into the stern of a large ship in the port's water area. Take a look at the way this tugboat goes under in just a few seconds. This happened after a blast on a tugboat that was transporting diesel canisters meant for refueling a larger vessel. And now you can place your bets. It passed mere inches away. But we can't say the same for this luxury cruise ship. And here's a collision of two vessels in the Calo port. As a result of this collision, hundreds of tons of bunker fuel spilled into the Mediterranean Sea and the French coastline. Eleven million dollars went towards clearing it. Tell us in the comments which moment surprised you the most, and support us by liking and subscribing. Our scriptwriter might finally get a bonus!